Okay, this is a 2017 Chevy Volt. <laughs> cleaning the EGR cleaning. Uh, some critical important points that other videos do not mention is that you're going to need two gallons of purple power, two gallons of distilled water, and about a gallon of distilled vinegar, white vinegar, um, acidic acid. The, th the, the reason is if you do not neutralize that purple power, it's going to get sticky and anything that's alkaline is going to adhere dirt carbon build up and then you wonder why your EGR valve or EGR cooler is clogged up again less than a year because you didn't neutralize and rinse and clean out that alkaline that purple power so I would suggest you use a gallon purple power half a gallon of distilled water going through and a gallon I mean distilled vinegar then a distilled and a half a gallon of distilled vinegar and a gallon of distilled water so that's one gallon of purple power half a gallon of your distilled vinegar and a gallon of distilled water now other things they didn't mention <coughs> is it takes about eight to ten ounces or so to get it up to that level you do another critical thing is that you do not want that purple power to come up too high so that whole bottom that you see and as it starts to come up it's pretty flat you might not be able to see in the video but you do not want that coming up all the way is because it'll go in the back of the engine because the other part of that engine cooler that exhaust goes on top of the top of the valves in the back and you're going to have a hard engine start and some of you might have noticed if you've done this before because you put too much purple power and it goes up i did this last time so another point is that i'm going to mention is the size of the hose somebody mentioned in one of the comments of the videos is a half an inch but they didn't say inner diameter and outer diameter it's a freaking annoying that people don't get specific about this stuff so i bought this at home depot six foot six feet half five eighths outer diameter and a half inch inner diameter as you can see down there i used a metal clamp because there is no way that stuff's going to sit it's going to leak behind so i use a metal clamp make sure it's tight then i felt back to make sure it wasn't leaking back there uh over here you can stick the hose in there if you remove your egr valve but don't stick it too far it's going to be a pain to get up so the size of this metal clamp is five eighths a 5 8 inch metal clamp i had a box of clamps and i used a six millimeter it's having a hard time focusing that's annoying this phone okay it's 5 8 inch and i just use a funnel from home depot to stick it in there to pour the purple power in um, the reason the clamp's still on here because before i took off the clean the egr cooler i went through here i used a gallon of purple power about eight to ten ounces and i was going and then i let it sit then i sucked it up let it sit um, then I used a gallon of distilled water make sure it's rinsed out but I wish I had some vinegar so this time I made sure I had some kind of cleaning vinegar to neutralize it <coughs> another thing is I'll grab this hose right here and uh, my suggestion is let it sit for an hour and every 15 minutes come out here and blow in the hose kind of push that out maybe five six times every 15 minutes or so you're going to have to let this sit overnight uh, two nights if you can if you only could you know if your time is limited this is like an all-day project you're going to have to let it sit and uh for an hour then blow it every 15 minutes just so you can swish that around that purple power so it gets agitated so you can break up the carbon that's um that's stuck to the egr cooler inside i highly suggest you use a bar a boroscope endoscope this is how i found out that when i did a gallon um like what eight to 14 times and then a gallon of distilled water eight to 14 times to let it soak and then rinse it out and suck it up it didn't even get half of it when I used the endoscope and I looked in there, it only busted up, it busted less than half. I would say something like maybe 25, 30%. So, but however, um, I did this during the day yesterday and I let it sit over at night and it got almost all of it. I mean, there's some areas in there that is those carbon that's stuck to the inside the EGR cooler. Um, so that's why I'm doing it for one more day now. Uh, I'll check it to see if I have. I'm sure I might have some little bit, but I'm looking at doing this again. Another thing is I have the, <clears throat> I put the high temperature one. So these packs are plugs. So when I took the EGR cooler out, if you can see, I used one of the black plugs down here to plug where the coolant line goes in. Another thing down here, and I used the blue one to plug that, so I didn't really use much, lose much coolant. So this is just a funnel for Walmart. Now here, the EGR cooler soaking in distilled water. Another point I want to mention is 
um, letting it soak in purple power and cleaning both sides of the you see there's some that's still kind of breaking off from the water okay is uh, uh, so you, like I said two gallons of purple power two gallons of just um, one gallon of distilled vinegar and two gallons of distilled water to rinse that out okay um, something else that nobody mentions it's an important point is that if you let this soak and you just use purple power it's just going to get sticky again um, this is the coolant line right there so my suggestion is to pour some distilled vinegar in there and then distilled water because it's been soaking that purple power and you're getting purple power in that coolant line yeah it's going to kind of contaminate it there if you do not um, use distilled vinegar to neutralize that purple power so i'm just letting it soak in distilled water um, i already had it soaking in uh distilled that that vinegar it's cleaning vinegar solution to neutralize that purple power now it's just soaking in distilled water and i'll do it one more time soak it and then i'll install it so again i would uh let it sit for about an hour, then blow it every 15 minutes. The size is 5 8 diameter. Outer diameter, half inch inner diameter that I use. The clamp is a 5 8 clamp. And I use these high temperature that I bought. I just bought a huge variety of them, the least expensive, but I also have bought some um, outer ones too. But these are nice because the little black ones fit in the top notch down there and the uh, the smaller blue ones like right down there fit in as you can see down here so um, i hope this helps people to thoroughly clean their egr cooler again do not just use purple power and clean it and stick it back in it's going to take less than a year before that gets all clogged up again with the carbon it's like a magnet if you do not neutralize it okay and do not overfill it so that's another point so hope this helps people when they clean their egr cooler i would probably do this maybe once depending how much you drive or the engine on once every two to three years or you can just get a boroscope and highly suggest to get that endoscope to look inside with the camera to see how clean it is in there but you'd be surprised how the small the spaces that that exhaust goes through so i think these are excellent vehicles man i might Look at buying a 2019, another um, Chevy Volt, depending how much it is. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll also write it in uh, below the video, the size of the tubes and the size of the metal clamp. Okay. Bye.